Hey yeah, guys, welcome back. Right, this is going to be a second in a series of me two, this is part two of maybe three videos, I'm just not sure yet. Um, we just went over the contents of the little pocket size tin, which actually stays in the glove box of the car almost year round. It's just something there for when I don't have my kit with me and I don't have something in the car. Now, I like to carry a wider variety of kit components most of the time. Okay, so we'll start out with this. This is kind of my, we got some cotton weapons cleaning uh, patches. They're good in there. I mean, you can rub them down with. Actually, I don't know if I have it in here or not. It might be in another one of the uh, containers. But a little bit of fix and wax or beeswax. Usually I use fix and wax. Flaming stone. You can get your fire going a little bit longer. Okay, this is actually. Whoop. This is actually a small container of 209 pounds. Okay, the 209 primers go to this little flare gun I have. I had a barrel turned for it by a machine guy I know. So, you got 22 caliber lead pellet. I have a barrel. And the pellet goes down in the barrel. The 209 primer sits directly on top. There's no rattle, no nothing. It's perfect for that. And here, the way this works, I don't know if we're going to be able to see it. Hang on, I have an answer for that. Flashlight. Down in there, these flare guns have a center punch, basically, your firing pin down in there. It lines up perfect with the 209 primer. So this gets pulled back. Boom. You can dispatch small game at close range with it. I do need to get more 22 caliber pellets for it. Though. But it's great. Small. It's 22 caliber hole. Close range. Boom. It's got enough. Um, I'm taking a couple squirrels with it. I've dispatched um, coyote with it raccoon with it um, it goes about six inches and do a uh, telephone pole take telephone pole this is one of them cheap take down fishing poles um, for the space it takes up I can't really complain about it a pocket fishing kit that I upgraded. Two yo-yo reels. I mean, you set them, forget them. One's got number not, uh, 12 bank line on it. One's got your, the standards that they come with still. Um, we'll go over the contents of that in a minute. The full thing of the military trip wire. It's great for squirrel, for squirrels, small game. Snares on the on the pole, leaning up against the tree, and wait. Set two or three of those out. Um, you know, lashing. Anything wire is good for. Anything cordage is good for. This will do. Um, mini fishing reel. It's got 50 pound test spider wire on it, which is great because it's only a diameter of like 14 pound or something like that. Um, this, yeah, sorted hooks, um, things like that. Um, you know, some jigs, different hooks. Uh, in here, which has got a crap ton of that spider wire wrapped around it. Got a ranger band on there, two ranger bands, uh, some cargo tape holding the end of the line down. Can actually be used as a hobo reel. Inside we have 
different packages of hooks and I leave them in the packages because it gives me cardboard to start on fire if I have to. I got a couple steel leaders, a couple uh, burrs. Another thing of fish hooks. And the goodie bag. In clear plastic container. But the goodie bag's got tons of hooks, uh, sinkers, swivels, some of uh, these worm things that I can't find anymore. I've had these things for probably 15 years. So if somebody knows where to uh, find them, let me know. But, yeah. Got them years ago. Um, they're a worm that has a leader already run through it. So you just hook it up right there. But it's got three hooks in it. And it's great for fishing. Uh, bigger fish. And I mean, I use that a lot up in upstate New York. Up in the uh, lakes up in the Adirondacks. That's where I use those a bunch. Um, not so much down here. But that's kind of like the let's make sure we can eat tonight kind of pouch there. Which all gets jammed back down in here somehow. This is why you don't unpack things for videos. Uh, <laughs> So, I mean, the steel leaders, I'm going to pick up longer ones at some point because I've seen a few different ideas on using them for snares in emergency situations. But what I find here is, you know what, I've used this kit. I, I mean, I bought this from the Pathfinder School or uh, self Reliance Outfitters a couple of years back. But it's the same innards basically as the kit I used up in the Adirondacks. That'll go as back into here these came out of but those slide right down in the side okay we'll go over the contents of these in a minute I got an all weather space blanket in here rolled up nice and tight it's about the size of a 32 ounce water bottle and then here's a soda can for comparison I mean, there you go. So, we got that in there. We got about 50 foot of paracord, 50 foot of number 36 bank line, two small tent pegs. And that's what's basically in that pouch. In case anybody's wondering, it all fits in that uh, bag there. Cake of fix and wax there, which I carry in this kit. Um, got that. A few other little tins to go over here. And I usually, I always carry a water bottle with me. But this is a kit that usually nine times out of ten is sitting in the car. A water bottle comes in and out with me. I got extra batteries for a headlamp. Uh, ibuprofen and Imodium. And a small thing of Gorilla Tape. Fits in this little pouch here. I 
like things staying closed, so Gorilla Tape or Ranger Bands and everything. And this has a Sawyer filter in it, more bank line. It used to have a sail needle in it. Um, Capstick, which is a beeswax one. And a big lighter. So I got the container, a way to literally filter water. Fire, combustion, cordage. And mental note to add a sail needle to that. I think I only have two and one's in the back of my knife that's up in the hunting bag and one's in the other tin. This tin here is kind of another larger version in a way of the little one. Um, Bic lighter. We have some artificial sinew which burns spectacular. I mean, grab a bunch of this, you break it up into the finer fibers, and you light it, and it'll keep going. We got some uh, micro infernos. Hunk of fat wood. Uh, this is an older version of the champ. And then I got some spices floating around down in there. Now this knife, I love. Because it's got everything. <laughs> I mean... You're all little weird thing that I use as a little screwdriver, um, another screwdriver. That, of course, your set of uh, tweezers and um, freaking toothpick, can opener different screwdrivers which is great for if you're in town this is why I like this knife so is this right here the magnification lens it's another fire this one's got the scissors the fish the scaler it's got a ruler right here in the back of it um, you got your file um, of course your knife blades a little guy there, bigger guy there, and your wood saw there. So that's a it's a great blade. Now this thing, this is something that actually somebody had wanted me to sell on the website, but I feel that I can't ask over what it's they're charging me to get them. Now they're charging me, they, they want to charge me, I'm not going to say the company, but they want to charge me $14, 15 bucks after shipping and everything per one of these. Now what this is, it charges up with the USB, this uh, like an Android uses, and basically it's a electric lighter. So... It's not an open flame, but I mean, it works. Um, here we go. So, off of, um, you know, a few charges, it gets, you get a bunch of uses out of it out of a few charges, but I don't feel that I could ask any more than what they're charging me for, it because it is cheap, you know, they say it's water resistant, but mm, I don't believe them. But I threw it in the, uh, the tin, I mean, it's protected in the tin. I got cayenne pepper in here for first aid use. I got salt, pepper, oregano. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, realistically, though, it's like I was saying about that, I can't charge more, really, than I can't make money off. So, you know, I'm willing to take a close hit on some items, but not when it comes to stuff like that. Now this, we got a little ferro rod, a little hunk of a candle. Um, there's a little Gerber shortcut. This thing is cool. Because scissors. You got scissors. Um, which are in the center. You got a knife blade. Nice little guy. You got tweezers there. That's actually a set of tweezers. Let me fold it out. So another set of tweezers. You got a small flathead. Larger flathead with the little can opener, bottle opener thing on it. And this can actually be used as a Phillips because it's tapered. Right there on the end. Um, So it grips in. Come on. There we go. And it grips in to a Phillips screw pretty well. I don't even know how the screw goes. Um, and I got an old Wick style liner, which just takes uh, like zip off things. Um, so I got like a little backup fire kit here. I mean, it's just a cheap ferro rod. Uh, once again, I got more tape around it for an extender, tinder, blah, 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 blah. And Ranger Band. We're getting close to 20 minutes here, so I'm going to wrap this up. But this last 10 here, because that's pretty much it. Last tin here's a full on fire pit. We got grill tape up here. We got the Ranger band that holds it close. So I got tinder and everything. I got a whatever you want to call these. I, I always call them a uh, rope match. It's a piece of brass that I cut down through the puffy wick material through it. The only thing about this is high humidity. These things do not agree very well. Brand new bick, flint and steel kit, um, some char cloth in there and cloth to be made into char so it's still viable for other uses. I'm getting this all back in here, it's going to be a pain. Yeah, right. How'd I have this in here? Whatever. Nope. Hmm. Remember how you pack things so you can put it back together. Wisdom for the day. There we go. That works. It might be time to switch that out with a new tin. Um. But, I mean, yeah, so it all goes into that one package I have, that, that one bag, and it, it all fits well. Um, I mean, I have plenty of options of different things to use, and I still go back to these same items. Um, I'm not saying that things like Nano Striker or the Tinder Zips or anything are bad it's just um, on my one hunting bag and on my hunting coat I got tinder zips on everything got a nano striker that's lashed into the pocket of my hunting coat but for this I have the other items that I'm using the kit pretty much stays usually in the trunk of the car this time of year just as something to have I got plenty of ways to get water purify water I can boil it I mean, there's 
plenty of ways. So, I mean, that's that's it. So, make sure to check out my webpage, cndfirearmsllc.com. I'll post a link uh, in one of the descriptions or once I figure out how to do that. Um, I'll uh, be sure to share this to the new learning center that I started up. Me and Tom Ritter are uh, working on getting that going. And uh, make sure to subscribe, hit the little uh, bell so you get notifications. I'm going to start doing more videos now that I've figured out how to do them on my phone. And uh, well, maybe I'll go over cleaning cast iron or, you know, finishing a shelf or something. I don't know what I'll go over next, but, you know, I'll try to do a video a week roughly for you guys. So, uh, thanks for watching and take it easy.